Yo, what is up guys? I'm bringing you a brand new video and this time we're talking about the Awakening Berserker Reboot Ultimate Combo Guide. I'm going to be taking you guys through the most amount of damage combo you can do on Berserker Awakening after the reboot, as well as talking about the combos you should be using after landing every particular type of catch there is in the kit. And there are a couple of differences now in our catches. Previously, it was always stiffen or just straight up grab. But now we do have a new ability, Fearsome Tyrant, that has the stun on it. Um, and so that gives a little bit more variance to what you could be doing in a combo. Additionally, we also have a KD uh, from Range Titan Blow. And so that's a brand new ability that is going to give us a different type of combo option if we manage to land that knockdown at the end. Well, now we're going to start off here first with the grab combos and the stiffen combos just so you guys are kind of more familiar with it if you guys are a returning zerker or if you're brand new this should be pretty easy to grasp we're going to start off with our grabs here so a very very common way to catch enemy players in 1v1s is by landing some sort of grab and typically you can use shake off into a grab or really you can go and do sort of a stiffen into a grab as well as Lava Piercer, Stiffen into a grab. And so that is one of the most common ways, like probably 70 or 80% of the time you're going to catch an enemy. It's going to be a Stiffen into a grab or just a straight up grab. So let's talk about what you do if you manage to land any of those types of CCs. So we're going to start off focusing on Rock Smash as well as Smackdown. So if you happen to land a Smackdown, we're going to start with the first part of the combo because the first part of the combo is sort of your pre-buff and the second half after the second CC is really where your damage comes in. So what we're going to be doing as our pre-buff is if you land a grab, you're going to cancel it to the side by hitting A and LMB. From there, you're then going to go and hit the F key to get an evasion debuff that's going to put a slow on the target as well as an evasion debuff. From there, you're going to do Frenzy Destroyer, which is going to give you some different add-ons. So I have Monster Damage as well as Critical Hit, and then it gives you Melee AP as sort of the innate stat that it gives for using FD. From there, you're going to go into a Headbutt, and that's going to give you a 15% Melee Accuracy rate. And then you're going to go into Ground Lifting after that, which is going to give you some Attack Speed as the add-on, as well as some extra Human Damage. I'm going to have a link to my add-ons in the description, so you guys can sort of copy those if you want as well. So let's do that in full time to show you guys what the pre-buff looks like. We're going to do E-Grab, Cancel, F, Frenzy Destroyer, Headbutt, Ground Lifting. And that's going to be the first part of our combo that's going to give us all of these different add-ons and all these different pre-buffs to start doing all the major damage to these enemies. And it also has sort of a fail-safe. So if you manage to uh, hit the Headbutt and it fails, and then you do Ground Lifting... You're going to find that the headbutt might fail, but the floating will still occur, which gives a little extra safety if your enemy is running RBF Adamantines, which can give them some extra KD resist. So it's sort of a failsafe in that regard. And this particular pre-buff is going to be done after getting each type of grab. So the way that you do it with Rock Smash is you use Rock Smash. You're then going to hit RMB into space, and then you do the same thing. F... Frenzy Destroyer, Headbutt, Ground Lifting. And so that's not really going to change regardless of if you land Rock Smash or if you land Smackdown. You can do the exact same start to your combo. Now, same thing with Rooting, except you have to do it in a little bit of a different order. You're going to land Rooting, C-Swap, Frenzy Destroyer, and then you're going to hit the F key. From there, you go Headbutt into Ground Lifting. So you have to do the Frenzy Destroyer first and the uh, uh, F key afterwards. All right, so that's how you're going to start your combo after landing each grab. Now, let's show you guys what you do for the actual big damage. Now, this is going to happen pretty fast, but I'm going to break it down for you slowly after I do it. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to land your e-grab. You do the pre-buff we just talked about. After you get your headbutt into ground lifting, you are then going to go into shift F into split shot, SQ into split shot, Ancient Wave into Split Shot, and then Titan Blow into Split Shot. Now, that's going to, in full time, you'll only do the last hit of Titan Blow, which is the majority of the damage. And the reason you do Split Shot so much is now you can do it off of cool. You don't need to, you know, use it when it's available off cooldown. You can use it whenever you want now. And so what the entire combo is going to look like 
Um, I'm only at 250 AP, so I don't kill the target. But here's what the entire combo is going to look like here. You're going to land your catch. You're going to do your pre-buff. Like so. And so, you see there that I did Titan Blow into Split Shot and then Ancient Wave into Split Shot. It doesn't really particular matter if you do... Uh, if you do your Ancient Wave into Split Shot and then Titan Blow into Split Shot. Either one kind of works. It's just sort of what you want to do. Okay, so let me do that combo for you in full time once again. This time I'm going to use the Ancient Wave Split Shot into Titan Blow Split Shot. And here's what it's going to look like in full time. So we're going to do our little pre-buffs here. And that would be an entire full combo right there. And even at 250 AP, Reiku is a 370 DP player. And so you can imagine when you start putting on some real amount of AP that you're going to be, you know, doing a ton of damage with that particular combo. Okay, so that combo can be done out of any of the three grabs, and it starts with any of our two stiffens, either if we get a shooting mobility or if we get just a storming beast. So these are the primary CCs that you're going to be getting is with storming beast and uh, shooting mobility. Now let's move on to the different types of catches. So now that we have a stun on Fearsome Tyrant, the start half of the combo, your goal is going to be to get a very similar amount of pre-buff done. It's just going to be done in a little bit of a different way. So if you land a Fearsome Tyrant, you're probably going to want to go Frenzy Destroyer, Shift A to get next to the target. From there, you can go ahead and you can land a Stiffen by hitting your F key. And that's going to take them out of the stun. After you do that, you can then go into headbutt and then into ground lifting. So I'll show you what that looks like here as soon as our Fearsome Tyrant comes off of cooldown. Okay, so now that our Fearsome Tyrant's off cooldown here, here's what it's going to look like. We're going to go Fearsome Tyrant for the stun, FD to get close, Stiffen, headbutt, ground lifting. And from there, you've gotten all of your different pre-buffs already. And you can pretty much go directly into the same exact damage combo. You can go into your Shift F ability into Split Shot, SQ into Split Shot, Ancient Wave into Split Shot, and then Titan Blow Final Hit into Split Shot. So the ending part of the combo is going to remain pretty much exactly the same. Now, if you are in a, in a particular situation where you have your Ancient Wave on cooldown and it's unavailable, you can also use Slugfest as a really good finisher. So let's say, for example, um, Ancient Wave is on cooldown for whatever reason. I have no idea how that CC even hit, but uh, anyway, let's say your Ancient Wave is on cooldown and you want to do a combo. Here's another version of it. You can go like this, get your pre-buff. You do all the same things and then you finish off with a Slugfest. So that is something that you can do as well if your Ancient Wave happens to be not available. And uh, that's going to put you in some pretty good situation for some good damage. So I'll do that one more time here to show you. Like so. so that's going to be a really also good opportunity. Most of these abilities, so like your Seismic Blast, your Scatter Shot, your Titan Blow, all that stuff is on a very low cooldown. So let's say, for example, for whatever reason, your SQ and your Shift F and your Titan Blow are all on cooldown and you land a grab. You can delay for a long time before you have to start your combo. And you can see right as I set them down, you're able to get those abilities back because they have very, very low cooldowns. So the only one you're really ever going to have to worry about here is the Ancient Wave being on cooldown. And if it is, you just replace it with a Slugfest. Okay, so we talked about our three grabs. We talked about our landing a stun. Now let's talk about if we happen to land a KD with Titan Blow. Well, nothing is really going to change too much if you land a KD with Titan Blow. You're pretty much going to get your knockdown. You're going to run up Seismic. You're going to go into Scatter. And then from there, you can go into Ancient Wave and Split Shot to sort of finish it off. Now, another possible consideration is if you want to go for a second KD you can go for your Ancient Wave first. So you basically will run up and you'll use this like this, not hit your target. And then you can turn around and use your Ancient Wave as your second form of CC. 
That can be really useful if your target is not using adamantines. And another possible consideration is if you do want to go for the float, you may also consider using scattershot first. So let's say you get your KD and you go for the float. You can go scattershot into ancient way into uh, your seismic blast into split shot. Scattershot does have an air modifier, so you typically are going to want to start with your scattershot in that particular situation. Um, you you probably don't want to do your initial seismic. Unless you really want to get the minus 20 DP that's on it, because Scattershot does not have that minus 20 DP. I generally feel like the air modifier is a little bit better, but either way, if you use Seismic, whatever you're more used to, Seismic and then Scatter, or Scatter then Seismic, ultimately is going to be you know, better depending on what type of target you're fighting. So let's do that one more time. You get your KD, you run up, Scatter, Seismic, Ancient Wave, Split Shot. That's going to be a really, really good amount of damage for you without having to worry too much about, um, you know, landing a perfect combo. Now, I will say that you're going to be doing a lot less damage with that particular catch just in general because you're not really getting many of your pre-buffs. There's not a lot of time to do anything like that. And if you're fighting an evasion target, you're also not really getting that evasion debuff and that headbutt buff to your accuracy. So you're going to be missing a lot so you saw that in a regular combo, like this one here. Right, we completely destroy the target, right? We completely kill a 370 DP player while we have 250 AP. Whereas if we compare that exact same combo, or, that, or a similar damage combo that uses, you know, a combination of these skills, You'll see how the damage is actually much lesser here. So we'll go for the KD, scatter, split shot, and then angel wave split shot. You see how his HP barely moves. That is large in part to I have very low accuracy and this is an evasion target. And the fact that we are not getting our accuracy buffs from the headbutt and the storming or and our uh, yeah, our our storming beast. So if you are fighting an evasion player, you may not try to get the KD with Titan Blow because it ultimately will not lead to a kill. It may be something that you do if the target stands up and has really low HP, and that's some you know sort of a catch you go for. But generally, if you are fighting a DR player and you have a hundred percent hit rate, that extra sort of evasion, uh, you know, that extra accuracy bonus and evasion debuff is not going to matter quite as much. So yeah, that's something just to consider a little bit of food for thought. But that is pretty much it, you guys. You guys now know after you get a stiffen into a grab how to combo. You guys now know if you get a stun um, how you are going to combo out of a stun. And you also know that if you land a titan blow how to sort of follow up. I hope that you guys found this video very useful. Hopefully it is not too difficult to follow these combos. It's definitely a lot more key inputs than normal. But uh, either way... Thank you guys all very much for watching. I appreciate that a lot. And if you guys did enjoy, please subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.